across the board, just little things that we can control, just discipline things, right? Starting, it all starts for me with not beating yourself, right? And we've had just some of those errors early on uh, here, but not not overall. But we've got to clean up those things. When you come back, will you guys be in full pads? Uh, we were in uppers today. To be honest with you, I'm one day at a time. So I, I'll, I'll take tomorrow and look at the schedule and then come back. But there's a lot more padded work uh, coming up. And really, when we're in uppers, that's that's pretty much full tilt boogie as well. Do you anticipate using the whole fall camp section to decide on quarterback, or are you guys ready to, to kind of officially name buddy? What's kind of the plan there? No, we got a good battle going on right now. Both of those guys have improved a ton from spring and summer, so that's been fun to watch play out so far. Where do you see Connor Blumrick fitting in? Uh, what his role might be? I know he can move around and be versatile and do a lot of different things. I'm excited about Connor. Connor's working at receiver, at tight end, in the backfield, a lot of different places. He's got a unique skill set. Um, he's played receiver before. Obviously, he's played a lot of quarterback in his career, so it's been fun to figure out how to utilize him and package him in in different personnel groupings. How are his hands as a receiver? That's something he's done his entire career. Yeah. Spots. Been, been very good so far. I mean, I've been uh, pleasantly surprised, and that's going back to spring when we made the transition and officially moved them. Really haven't noticed any errors in, with his hands. Has he had to get bigger? To play this role, now? yes, he's put on he's put on some weight over the summer. He looks different physically than he did at quarterback, so he's done a nice job with his body so far. You got two veterans in that room, not counting him, right? And, and Drake and Nick. What, what have you liked from those guys so far, especially as leaders? Man, their their approach and their work ethic every day has been outstanding, and just just like you said, leadership, how they're bringing along the younger guys in the room, Benji and Harrison and Daquan and. Ty Eller even showing up there in a leadership role. We, we got a really good room of guys that are helping each other succeed. How comfortable do you feel with those two guys that you can do a lot of two tight end stuff uh, in this offense? I feel good about it. You know, a lot of things uh, depend on the game plan and how that unfolds, what gives the defense the most problems, but I feel good about those guys. They're experienced, they're consistent in what they do, they're consistent in their approach every day, so I've been fired up about both of them. Are they versatile enough as, as pass catchers that they can do a lot of stuff in this offense? Are they more, do you see them more as blocking types? or? How do you view their skill sets? I think they're they're pretty good all around guys. Um, I think you can uh, u utilize them in a variety of ways, deploy different formations. So that's been fun to play around with here and over the spring, over the summer, and in fall camp. Brent has kind of called uh, Malachi Thomas the, the, the kind of the leader at the running back spot throughout the offseason. Is that still kind of the case, or where do you kind of see that competition developing? We got a good group at the top between him and Jalen, and then other guys coming in, whether it's Keyshawn and Chance and Bryce Duke stepping up. Uh, Kenji's doing some good things. So I've been impressed with the whole group. I still think we have to figure out how that shakes out, but I'd say uh, Malachi and Holston there leading the top, and a lot of guys have really stepped up over the summer. At, at wide receiver, Caleb and, and Jaden are kind of the established guys. What, what have you liked from some of those not so established guys this summer, like Dwayne, Dallin, kind of Jalen, those groups? Yeah, you're watching Dewan take huge steps. I can see it in his confidence. Uh, Dalen's had a good start to camp. Really, that entire group, Stephen Gosnell. I think those guys, what they did over the summer in the weight room, uh, routes on air, everything that they were doing on their own, some things we were able to do with them, organized with new NCAA rules, you can see that start to show up in practice. I've really been impressed with the group as a whole and how they've improved from when we left spring ball to now going into fall camp. Keyshawn King's been working some at wide receiver. What have you seen? What went into kind of him working at receiver, and what have you seen him at that position? He's got a unique, unique skill set, and you know that starts at running back. Uh, but we can deploy him. We can be in a, a personnel grouping where he is a running back, and maybe he flexes out and does some different things. And you know, he's he's, he's got some speed. He's got some physical tools. Um, so we've we've been uh, playing around with that, seeing where we can utilize him in the offense. What do you think of this freshman offensive line group? And, and do you feel those guys need to? get ready quickly to be able to possibly play this year just based on the kind of depth you have up front? Well, we want everybody to have an urgency to get ready. I mean, there's good battles going on in that room. I've been impressed with the young guys as a whole, just how they approach it. Coach Rudolph does an outstanding job with them. Um, so that whole group is, is really coming along. But is there a greater sense of comfort having some guys in that room? It's a pretty lean group in the spring, and you get four or five reinforcements over the summer. Yeah, it, look, it looks like a different group, right, with just the body types out there and the bodies that we're able to utilize at practice, having a true four deep in camp. So that's been uh, that's been a big big difference from the spring for us. Is Xavier Chaplin further for, far enough along to be sort of the next backup, you know, the backup tackle, the primary backup tackle, or how much work, you know, do you think that it takes sort of for a freshman to kind of, you have the confidence in the freshman to be in that role? 
it takes a lot of work, and, and I don't think we're anywhere close ready to say anything about that after four days and only two days in pads. Right. I think as we go through it and get into scrimmages, we'll have a better idea of, of what those guys can really do with the reps that they gain. And then Daquan Wright seems to be working some of the receivers. Was kind of known as a more advanced receiver in terms of tight ends coming in as true freshmen. How do you envision his role long term? What have you seen from him so far? You know, he's a he's a freshman. He's developing, learning the playbook. There's some there's some things that are happening fast. But you look at what he's done since he's been here. He came in in the low teens as far as 200s. Now he's up to 231. I think he's got a chance to be a really good all around tight end in his future. When you said you mentioned that these are blocks of practice, what was your goal? These first four practices for the offense, like what did you have in mind to try to accomplish your tackle in those first four? Really to pick up where we left off. Um, we talk about the double positive, and that starts with protecting the football, creating explosive plays, our execution, alignment, assignment, technique, okay, and then playing with relentless effort. And I've, I've seen us improve in all three of those areas. Um, through the first four days, we're able to get the majority of our install in because of what we're able to do now in the summer, spring, winter, different things. So I feel good about where we are there, and now it's just continuing to develop the whole group moving forward. Do you feel like there was a good retention rate with all the install and stuff that you guys did in the spring, the carryover now to fall camp? I do. The, guy, the guys really have done a nice job working their tails off, both with the coaching staff and on their own. So I feel really good about where we're at in that regard. What have you guys seen kind of beyond the top two quarterbacks, but those third quarterbacks, Devin Farrell, Taj Bullock, and kind of the competition that they seem to have? Yeah, I think it's still early to, to make any notes on that right now. Those guys have really approached this summer and the off season with a great work ethic, a great mind about them. I watch how they work in practice and see them improve in every rep. And I think we'll get a better idea like all of these young guys as we go through camp. And then the true freshman receivers, Tucker Holloway, Xavier Turner, Bradshaw, what have you seen from those guys? Speed, speed, both of them have speed. And just like any freshman, right? Training camp's a little bit different than a spring practice where spring practice, you've got those days in between to kind of catch your breath. It all stacks up on you pretty quickly in training camp. So that's natural for a freshman, but with Tucker being here early and Javion having to work uh, over the summer, those guys have done a really nice job acclimating into that room. So, somebody with a little bit more speed, Cole Beck. Um, I know you, you guys added him. What, what's his addition been, been like to that room? And I, I know you guys might not necessarily use him regular formation just because he hasn't played football in a while, but, but what's, kind of, what's kind of your vision for him? He's doing a nice job right now developing as a wide receiver, but it, you know, through four practices, still a little early to say too much about it. Coach, you know, kind of the game planning as you do, you know, overseeing all the implementation and install versus just skill development. How much is kind of your experience as an offensive corner at Fordham kind of helped you kind of game plan for that this fall camp? I think it helps a ton, um, you know, going through it at, at Fordham, having an opportunity to do it at Penn State in the bowl game, and then just different experiences in the past and the staff around it. I, I, feel, I feel good about that moving forward.